the more processed your business is, the more likely it is that for each step of your customer relationship, you have to send the same emails over and over again. So you certainly have a Notion or a Google Drive with the text to copy and paste with large red capitals for the personalization elements to modify before sending. But in the end, it's frustrating and still time consuming. That's why I advise you to set up HubSpot templates, which will allow you to build a real library of pre-written emails. And to do so, it's extremely simple. You just need to go to conversations and templates and click on new templates from scratch. Note that to create one, you need a sales seat, but everyone can use it because you can keep it for yourself or share with everyone. You can give it an internal name. So test a subject, this is a test and a body using personalization token, for instance. Once you're happy with the mail you want to save on your templates, you can click on sales template and it will appear here. A good thing is a spot also give us a library of pre-written emails that are supposed to be optimized for conversion and fit with a lot of business models. So if you like some of them, you can choose them and import them to your library. Once your emails are generated, you can obviously organize them in folders. And for those who have seen my previous videos on documents, you know that I'm a fan of the breadcrumb organization that you can obviously replicate here. So you can create a folder named B2B, for instance, but another one named B2C. You can move your templates to the good folder and you can rename your templates to fit this breadcrumb nomenclature for instance. That way you will make sure that you can identify easily all your templates and find them every time you need it in a short time notice. And once all your templates are imported and organized, you still have to know how to use them. So to do so is very really simple. You just go to contact, you choose a contact you want to send an email. And here, instead of writing manually your mail, you can just click on templates, choose the mail you want, and it will automatically replace the personalization token by the data we have about this lead. Of course, sometimes you might need to rewrite a bit to make it fit exactly your purpose. But once that's OK, you can click on send. But before leaving you, I would also like to show you how to insert blocks of text into an already built email. For instance, you notice that all your contacts ask you the same kind of questions and you find yourself always spending time to copy paste specific text that answer those specific questions. A spot allow you to save time on that too, and it's with the snippets. So same as um, same as templates, you can go to conversation, snippets, and you can create your snippets. So for instance, I give a name, which will be test. Then I can create my block of text and we can use a shortcut that is a hashtag that we use to insert the snippet text we just wrote down. So I will create it as hashtag test. I save it. And if we go back to our Frank email, I want to add my specific snippet here. I tap hashtag test and it will automatically put the block of text here. So by mastering the templates and the snippets, you can make sure your salesperson will save a lot of time with their email communication. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, don't forget to put a thumbs up, to subscribe to this channel and to save this playlist to make sure you don't miss any new chapter of this free training. And don't forget the link in the description below that gives you this free access to all the content of this free training, plus more additional content on how to set up your spot portal in the most efficient way possible. For those who are discovering me through this video, I'm Grégoire, a spot expert for more than seven years now, and I will see you very soon for more spot tips.